Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. And I suppose this is not an installment of Candy Corner. It's not candy, I guess snack attack. Uh, so we are joined once again by Janice Yamanaka. Say hello, Janice. Hello. And uh, so Janice and I were talking about, um, she had mentioned that she had seen some of these um, chopped, uh, the uh, colliders, but the chopped ones, which have little, I guess, ground up pieces of whatever yeah. the, the dessert is. And then the pudding is something else. So we're not sure <laughs> what, what, what it is. So we, we did uh, a couple of colliders previously. Yeah, the, the just the layered one right but these these are chopped and these are different now i just found two of them janice told me about some other ones so janice which other ones do you have um well i have a bunch but here's a oops mint and then there's some that are called twisted colliders oops <laughs> and then i have like rollo i have a york peppermint patty um and a few other ones of the, okay, both so, the chopped and the twisted and the layered so janice is going to review those on her channel and what we'll do is we will provide a link down below so that you can go over to her channel and uh and you can watch her review the uh the other ones that we didn't do <laughs> so in addition um i had mentioned to uh, janice and i said hey uh there's a new kit kat out there uh it's kit kat key lime pie and um, so, Jen so Janice says, well, let me grab it's one green. and we'll review. <laughs> yeah, you get that, you get the green screen, so yes. like most of, most of it disappears. Yeah. Um, so today we're going to do the limited edition uh, Kit Kat Key Lime Pie. Now it says crisp wafer, wafers, which it always is, in Key Lime Pie flavored cream, naturally and artificially flavored. So I don't know how, I mean, is there lime in it? Is there lime flavoring? Let's see. Yeah. Um, Oh, doodle is killing something i think in the back room i don't see anywhere that it says lime although you know, citric acid is kind of like for lime it's yeah. just, you know it's a common thing so uh janice i will let you choose which one we start with uh let's start with the kit kat okay great Ooh, that's a weird color green. Yeah. I was expecting it to be like, you know, a solid lime green color, but it's kind of like, it's really kind of pale and you can kind of see the chocolate fruit. Uh, yeah. you know. It shows up on mine. All right, let's, uh, let's take a bite. It's so good, it makes me want to bark. <laughs> So I guess the thing is, they're going for key lime pie, not necessarily lime or key lime. Either key lime pie or lemon meringue. There's a little bit of that lime flavor, but it, it doesn't come in until afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> I like the flavor of this. I really yeah. do. I can't say that I'm getting key lime pie though. What about you? Just a very faint. There's a there's a slight yeah. hint of that tart lime at the end. Yeah. But not, you know, not during the rest of it. Um, key lime pie, if I'm not mistaken, is usually served with the graham cracker crust. And yep. so with that that uh, that crumbly cookie in the middle, kind of uh, gives you that that crap, uh, crust uh, impression. And everything. I'd say this is for me. This is one of the better um, Kit Kats. I don't know that they they really completely deliver on the key lime pie taste, but it's pretty good. You do, you do get some lime and everything. I, I'll go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So I, I mean, I would eat this again. I, it's it's one of the better Kit Kats. Some of the other ones are just like too creamy and too sweet. And this one, yeah. this one's nice. This one's uh, you know more emphasis on the cookie, I think, and just a, a hint of lime. That was really nice. So yeah, thumbs up on that. Janice, what would you like to try next? Uh, how about the Hershey chop one? All right, one? let's do it. Patio, please. Um, they, I think they just slide out. Yeah, oh. slide slide the bottom one out. And they come in tubs, uh, you know, neat little, t two little tubs of two. Yes. I'm afraid, like, I, if I open this, I think those, um, 
those chopped up Hershey's going to go everywhere. So I'm open it upside down because at least I know the pudding is sealed. <laughs> How do you open this thing? Well, I think you just got to kind of oh, peel the top off. But oh, it's, it's uh, stubborn. It's got a uh, covering on the chopped stuff, so oh, it won't okay. fall out. All right. There we go. Where Hershey's meets dessert. Okay, so it, uh, so it, I guess it says uh, flip it. So you yep. put the thing together and you just flip the top on. I, I think we just guess. sprinkle it on, right? Yeah, you could sprinkle it. I assume. <laughs> and, and I'm gonna go ahead and guess that these are just chopped up Hershey bars. <laughs> and this is Hershey's chocolate pudding. Which looks like it's gonna get go everywhere. Oh, oh there you go. All right, so the idea is we pour these in there. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Oop, I think I dropped some. <laughs> Let's stir that up a little bit. Okay, you ready? Yep. Let's give it a shot. It definitely tastes like Hershey's chocolate. What chocolate pudding? <laughs> but I'm saying the pudding tastes like Hershey's chocolate. Yeah. Well, if you like Hershey, a uh, Hershey bar, and I'm kind of on the fence of whether I like Hershey bar or not, but if you like a Hershey bar, you'll like this. Yep. Because the chocolate and the pudding tastes like Hershey, or it tastes like a Hershey bar, and then you've got uh, chopped up Hershey bars in there. So, I'm going to say it's not false advertising here. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it a thumbs up. It tastes like Hershey bar and Hershey pudding, right? <laughs> yep. So, there's no, no, no deceptive advertising or anything like that. It's pretty good. If, you know, if you like Hershey's chocolate. <laughs> yeah. So now, let's do the Reese's. Okay. Now, I gotta tell you that I'm looking at the chopped up pieces in the top of the Reese's that does not look like Reese's cup. Yeah, they don't. They don't it looks like the same it. thing that was in the Hershey's. I mean, it looks, it honestly looks identical to the one that was in yeah. the Hershey's. I think the, the pudding is all the peanut butter. It's no chocolate part. Oh, okay. So the chocolate is is in with yeah. it, but but I'm I will I'm willing to I'm willing to bet that it is the exact same chocolate. Yeah, probably is. And again, this one with the childproof <laughs> lid. There we go. Well, you know what? I I take that back. These are a little bit lighter colored. I think. Smells like Hershey's chocolate. Maybe we should try one. Yeah, that's an idea. I think it's just chocolate. <laughs> yeah. That is a weird color, that um, peanut yeah. butter pudding. It's a really you know, like weird a... color. Almost like a mustardy peanut butter color. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is kind of an odd color. Well, let's go ahead and uh, dump these in. Mix that up a little. If I remember correctly, uh, we did a Reese's, though, that wasn't the Twisted, but it was just the, Re the Reese's uh, Colliders. And, uh, and it didn't taste a lot like Reese's Cup. Yeah. It, it, didn't, was the, it wasn't very reminiscent of a Reese's Cup. It's a layered one. Okay, you ready? Cheers. It's kind of weak on a peanut butter taste. Yeah. Which is weird. Let's see if I could just taste the pudding. By itself. Are you getting a little bit of sourness? Yeah, something. A little weird. tastes a little sour? That's odd. 
because I don't remember that sour that sour taste eating a Reese's cup. Yeah. Yeah. You, know? you don't get that. That's kind of weird. I mean, is there an expiration on this? I don't think so. Yeah, but when they look on the bottom, end up with a lot of uh, pudding. <laughs> you can look at the one that's not. Uh... Oh, I don't see any. Oh, here's one. It's printed on Dennis. the side of the cup. May 23rd, 2021. Oh, well, it's close. It's actually <laughs> close to expiration. Um, well, but yours might be uh, actually uh, farther out because you bought yours. Mine says May 23rd. Oh, okay. <laughs> they were all made at the exact same I know, time, really. I imagine. Yeah. <laughs> Janice, I'm going to let you run with this one. What do you think? Mm. I think it's better than the um, the layered one we had. But? But, yeah, it's not quite uh, it's not no buttery cup. enough. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Like I'm, I, I, I agree with you completely. First of all, that sourness, that little, that bit of sourness, is really weird. I'm not sure where yeah. that comes from. Uh, I, I like maybe I left mine out. Maybe you know whatever. But you and I both get, taste that same thing. Yeah. Mine was in the refrigerator. So. <laughs> yeah, mine was too. So we get a little bit of that sour. As a matter of fact, yeah. I think the last one we tried, I didn't, I didn't even refrigerate it. It was not refrigerated. Yeah. It had been sitting out. So, um, so I'm going to say that 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 the weird sour taste I don't think belongs in there. The pudding should be more peanut buttery, and yes. it's not. Uh, you know, there's chocolate in the little chocolate bits and everything, and so it's kind of like eating a eating a broken up Reese's cup because you get the chocolate and the peanut butter, but the peanut yeah. butter is weak. So I'm gonna I think I'm gonna give that one a thumbs down. Now it's gonna, gonna give it a thumbs in the middle, but it's it's a thumbs down. I, yeah. If it didn't have that sour, it would have been a, a thumbs in the middle if it was just weak on the peanut butter flavor, but it has that sour taste. So I think I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to Probably thumbs it. down for me too. Yeah. <laughs> well, we tried. And um, so I will remind everybody that, again, Janice has some other, uh, you have some colliders and some, uh, what are the other ones? Stuff? Uh, they're twisted colliders. Twisted. And uh, I think there's one more chopped collider and couple layered colliders yeah so so again we will put a link down below so that uh, you can watch her review those and, and hopefully they'll be better <laughs> than, <laughs> yeah. than, than these um, we're working on some other stuff so uh, you will see Janice again in the near future and uh, Janice once again as always thank you for joining us today you're welcome <laughs> so if you go out to the store to get these just remember that it's crazy out there so please be careful <laughs> Please take care of yourselves. Please take care of others. And we'll see you soon. Yep. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below. And be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it. We hope to see you again soon.